side to you know, the touch game and, and do touch that way. But what, what's really cool is once you start to say, well, still, this is the great native interface for, yeah. for a whole lot of games. And so, you know, what we're doing in our next gen controller is we put a very low latency Bluetooth protocol into it that allows us to connect to most tablet platforms. And so now you're watching an iOS device here. Is this iOS? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so this is. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, using a, a standard you know, game controller. Right? And so this is this is what the way we think a lot of people are going to start playing the games because so suddenly you, know, you have access to a library, of very high end, you know, traditionally hardcore gaming content, um, but really designed to work with this interface, and it's never going to be particularly good in the touch screen. And so now you can take like your perfect ideal gaming experience that you usually only get you know on your home console. And you can take it with you. So, like, uh, you know, no, no exaggeration, this is my portable gaming experience. So I'm walking around town, and I just tuck this in my bag and travel. Like, you know, I'm on the road all the time. Pull it out, and I can play you know, the exact same game I was playing at home on, on my big television. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, with, with a screen about yay far away from you, and, you know, a full controller, it's actually not that not that dissimilar experience yeah, yeah, yeah. that you have whenever you're, whenever you're home. Yeah, obviously, that's, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's obviously subject to to have a decent connection. Yes, you need a you need, you need, over, you know, yeah. you need a high quality, quality internet, internet connection. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Wi Fi. Yeah. Um, not not two G or even three G because partially those networks, even if they have the bandwidth, they have a lot of latency things in yeah. the cellular networks. So we basically said hey Wi Fi is what you need for a good experience, but so I'm booting up split second right now. Um, clearly the game was never intended to play it on the tablet. Yeah. And uh, really fun you know, racing game for Disney. And so you can get through the intro movies, which usually is like the longest part of when you're playing a game on online now, it's getting in, it's usually just the trouble of getting through the intros. Um, play a quick play session, race the airport terminal. And this is going to get you guys some volume here too. <laughs> there you go. That's uh, it's pretty amazing. So now I'm playing, you know, a free <laughs> hardcore driving game on a tablet with a controller. So this this is still you know, sort of blows my mind. And I hope it'll I guess also the resolution of the iPad screen isn't that far off the uh, 720 HD anyway. Exactly. So then I just had a pretty spectacular crash. And I'll take what we call brag clip, which is using that little record uh, button here. Oh yeah. So it's a brag clip recorded. So I'm just going to pause it here for a second and then come back around you know, to the television. Or maybe I'll actually come to the iPad. So these are all different accounts connected. They could be anywhere in the world. Um, all different users. They just happen to be friended. Yeah. And so uh, then I'll come over to brag clips here. Um, and then I'll, so this is, this is the world of all of those clips, you know, from many, many, many games and many, many, many users. Um, and I'll sort and I'll take, uh, show me the most. I got light and recent. There we go. Is that, yeah. Take right, there you go. There we go. Um, so here's a Brad clip that's from Split Second recently, so that's got to be me. Um, and so that, that crash that we just watched here is now preserved. Uh, shared out with my friends within the system and then so I'm now watching my friends brag clip I can rate it so I'll give them that was pretty mediocre actually so three stars doing this upside down um, I can see my friends profile if I choose to or I can actually share this out to the greater web so we put a Facebook integration in place where you can then post it to your wall and, uh, and it takes the video clip, the, the full 10 second video clip, you get to annotate it with whatever comments you want to, and then post that out to your wall. We launched this feature a few weeks ago, and people are very excited about it, because they're just cool. spamming their friends' walls with yes, cool... There's not enough spam <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But you know what, it's actually kind of fun, because in, in this particular case, you're adding something that's of value, at least something you thought was worth sharing, yeah, yeah. and you put it on your own, own wall, not, not your friends' walls. So in any case, you can see, you know, like a lot of brag clips here, we'll see what are the most viewed ones. Um, 
you know, and, and they're largely from games that are like, you know, big open world games where you can get the, the system to do really funky, crazy stuff, you know, if you really try. And so, you know, some of them, some of the more popular ones are, you know, like for the Just Cause where you've got this open sandbox world where he manages to uh, pull down on top of him a uh, helicopter which then, you know, crashes him and throws him into the water. So, you know, kind of fun. You can do all sorts of stuff in this game. And, um, lost the signal here. Oh, there we go. So, in any case, tons and tons and tons of front rack clubs, probably billion, yeah. millions of them by now. Um, yeah, people find bugs in game, they find interesting angles, 